All right, so the last thing I want to talk about briefly is the effect of the total noise figure for a cascaded system consisting of multiple amplifier stages. So there is a common design methodology that defines which amplifier stage should have the highest gain and which amplifier stage should have the uh, lowest noise figure. We also want to see what happens when we have different noise figures associated with each amplifier stages and what effect that has on the total noise figure of the uh, complete cascaded system. So let's look at this uh, first block here just as an example. This is where we see the uh, the noise that's caused by the uh, active component, the BJT or this, the potentially the combination of multiple BJTs or transistors defined at the output side of the amplifier stage or the output referred noise. Okay, so th those are these numbers here uh, written inside of each one of these blocks. So for example, for this first block here, you have your kind of your, your main signal power here. So P2 is going to be P1 times the, uh, the gain of, of the first block. And then you have your noise power on the input, your noise power on the output here and here. So the noise power on the output is going to be the uh, input noise power multiplied by the gain like we saw before in our example from Appendix H, where the noise on the input is amplified. But in this case, the output referred noise is not amplified and it's just added on like this. So the subscripts NI here refer to as uh, like internally generated noise of the amplifier. So you can see for this stage here, if k equals 1 and k plus 1 is going to equal 2. And essentially what I'm trying to do over here on the left is I'm trying to generalize uh, this behavior here. This first line here up at the top basically represents the same thing that I'm trying to show over here, where in this case k equals 1. But then for the second stage, I replace the input noise to the second stage, which is this term here, by essentially the same thing that I derived over here, Okay, where we have the uh, gain of the previous stage multiplied by the noise power that's incident upon the previous stage plus the internally generated noise of uh, the previous stage. Okay, And then you can just keep breaking this down further and further. So in the next line here, the k minus 1th stage is represented by terms and brackets here. Again, where the noise power into the k minus 1th stage would be uh, this term here multiplied by the gain of that stage plus the output referred or the internally generated noise of that previous stage. Okay, And this can go on and on for, uh, for k blocks. But for simplicity, if we just let k equal 2, then the output noise of the second block would be P sub N2 times the gain of the second block. So this is P sub N2 times the gain of the second block plus the internally generated noise of the second block. Of course, P sub N2 is just simply the uh, gain incident upon the first block multiplied, or sorry, the uh, the noise power incident upon the first block multiplied by the gain of the first block plus the uh, internally generated noise of, of the first block. We know that noise figures are, is related to the noise factor. We know that on a linear scale, the noise factor is just the ratio of the input SNR to the output SNR. So we have here the input signal to noise ratio is just the ratio of the, the signal power to the uh, noise power on the input. And then the output SNR is the output power, the output signal power divided by the output noise power like this. Now we just derived the expression for P sub N3, the noise power on the output of the second stage here. We can sub that in. After some rearranging, we end up with uh, this equation shown down here. This equation can simplify a little bit if we focus on this stuff here in the brackets. This is the derivation of the noise figure for the first stage, where the noise figure of the first stage is going to be the input SNR like we saw before. But this time the output SNR is going to be P2 divided by Pn2. Like I said before, P2 is going to be P1 times the gain of the first stage, and Pn2 is going to be the noise incident upon the first stage plus the input or the output referred noise of the first stage here. And that's what's shown in the denominator of this uh, fraction here. After some rearranging, you end up with this. 
and hopefully you can see that these first two terms here can be replaced by uh, the noise factor of the first stage of this cascaded system here. Uh, similarly, you can go through a you can go through a similar derivation to show that uh, this expression here is true, and in the end you end up with an expression for your total noise factor that looks something like this. Okay, and this is the whole point of this of this little section here. Again, this is from Appendix H. So hopefully you can see here that if the gain of the first stage is large, then your total noise factor is going to be approximately equal to the noise factor of the first stage. So when you're designing an LNA that consists of multiple stages, it's common for the first stage to have large gain and for the noise factor or the noise figure of the first stage to be as small as possible. You can see that the noise factor of the second stage becomes less and less important as the gain of the first stage increases. So in general, if we have k different blocks, then the total noise factor for our entire cascaded system um, can be represented by the free formula shown here. And again, I'm just emphasizing the idea of placing a large gain and a small noise figure in this first stage.